Shalom, Shalom, Shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel, the so-called Negro, the so-called Black, the so-called African American, the so-called Latinos, the so-called Mexican, the so-called West Indies, the so-called natives, eh? spread across the four corners of the world, Shalom. Shalom, you are the Hebrew Israelite of the book. Yes, you are the Hebrew Israelite of the book, whom our king, Yahweh Shai, came and died for. Let's begin by giving honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, our heavenly father. Yahweh simply means he is in the Hebrew tongue. Yes, the Lord is about to restore everything back to us. We will get our language back. That is the Sada salvation family. Everything is coming back to the Israelites. The Lord sent his only begotten son to come and redeem those that were under the laws. Yes, those are the Hebrew Israelites. When we left Egypt, the Lord made a covenant with us. Yes, he gave us statutes, laws, commandments, family, 613 laws and statutes, family. We couldn't keep them. And the king, our power, Yahweh, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, sent his only begotten son. That's right. He is the root and offspring of King David. He is the bright and morning star. Yes. He is the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega. Yes. The prince of peace. The conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. And that is how he is coming. His second coming family, he's not coming as a lamb. No. No. He is coming in his glory. He says, all eyes shall see him. Yes, that is why he said. His name is Yahweh Shai, family. That is why he says to his 12 apostles, family, let's bring it out. The first precept. He says here. The first precept, just to show you that the Lord, Yahweh, he's not the author of confusion, family. Because we know that this world that we are living in is full of confusion. That's right. But our power, Yahweh, hey, he says, I change not. That's what he says in the book of Malachi. So ye, children of Israel, shall not be destroyed, family, just roughly paraphrasing. The Lord sent his only begotten son, family, to redeem Israelites. Yes. So Yahweh Shai made it clear when he sent the apostles out to preach the kingdom of heaven. That's what we are doing now. To wake up our people, family, the elect. That's it, the remnant. At the end of the day, the Lord is the one that is going to wake you up. If this word doesn't register with you, the Lord blinded you. And that is a scary thing, especially everything that is happening around us. We can see it. The elect, they will see it. They will repent. They will be sealed. And they will be beamed up. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to raise up. He's going to raise us up into the chariot. Yes. Psalm 91. Family, let's bring it out. Let's go to the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew chapter 10. Family. Starting from verse 5. It says, These twelve, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. These are the natural Gentiles, the rest of the nations. That's right. The natural Gentiles, the rest of the nations. Who have nothing to do with salvation. He says here. And into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. Because family. We know that at one point we were living in that land. But eventually family. That land was taken over by the Gentiles. So the Lord is warning you. This is what the Lord is saying. The Lord doesn't care about the rest of the nation. Yahweh Shai. It's only coming for his feet. That's why he gave them specific instructions. Let me repeat that again. Matthew 10, verse 5. These 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into 
the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritan, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Lord is only dealing with the Israelites. It says, but it says, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We were lost. The Lord, the book, Jeremiah said what? We shall be discontinued from our heritage. That's what happened. Especially during the Greek captivity family, we, most of us stopped what? Following our customs, our laws. Eh? And then we started following the heathen nations. Yes. We stopped circumcising our boys. Eh? Basically, family, we became Gentiles. Yes. The Hebrew, Israelite, became Gentiles. That's where, that's why Apostle Paul went to this nation. Yeah. Apostle Paul, he was, I mean, he was called Saul. But when Yahweh blinded him, yes, and brought him in and taught him, Apostle Paul became the teacher of the Gentile, the Gentile. Of the, the, the Israelites that were living, eh? that forgot their customs, eh? became Greek. That's right. It's like us right now. We call ourselves Americans, we call ourselves Italian, we call ourselves family. This is not our custom. But we follow this nation. That's how we became Gentiles. So Apostle Paul went to these nations to what? To bring back the Israelites, to remember, to tell them, listen, salvation is coming. This is what the Lord is saying. Yes. So the Gentiles that was there, there are there are natural Gentiles which are this nation, but we, the Hebrew Israelites, we the moment that we stop following the laws and the customs, the, the law, the statutes, the commandment that the Lord gave us, we became Gentiles. Family, it's simple. It's very simple. But this world here, they continue to preach universal salvation. No, 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 no. The Lord is not the actor of confusion. He says here, let me repeat that again. Uh, Matthew 10, verse 7, it says, And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what we are telling you now. The time is short, family. The time is short. Salvation is only for Israel. These nations, they have nothing to do with salvation. That's right. The Lord is only dealing with the 12 tribe of Jacob. And family, let's go to the book of Acts. No, I think I think it's John. It's John, first book of John. Chapter 4. Verse... Uh, Let's go straight to the point, family. Actually, you know, let's read a bit of it. The book of John chapter 4, verse 19. It says, the woman says unto him, Sir, this is the, Samar it's a, the Samaritan woman. Remember when Yahweh went by the well and wanted something to drink? This is the interaction that went on between our king Yahweh Shai, the concrete lion from the tribe of Judah. Yes, that's our savior. He's coming in his glory. That's right. That's the name that we're never going to stop calling out family and the lord says in the book of isaiah 62 it's a day that mentioned the name of the lord it says give him no rest hey eh? it says give him no rest until what he make until he make jerusalem a place on the planet once again until family he establishes so we are not stopping it says here john 4 verse 9 he says the woman says unto him say i perceive that thou art prophet our fathers worship in this mountain. Hmm? Mountain means one nation, family, country. Yes. It says here, And ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Listen, let's, let's hear what our, our, our king, Yahweh Shai, said to this woman. Family. Eh? And that, that, like I said, the Lord is not the author of confusion. Eh? If he says salvation is for the Israelite family, he's not going to change his mind. No. If he promises it, it's going to happen. If he says, I, always, I only like one group of people, family, that is the Lord. Who am I to question the Lord? That's why the family, we are blessed. 
we are blessed that after everything that we've gone through, at one point it didn't make sense to us. Why are we constantly serving this nation? Why are we slaves? Why are we the last to be hired, the first to be fired? Now everything makes sense. Because for me, the moment we go off, the Lord punishes us. This nation, they haven't been punished yet. The Lord is saving everything for the last day. Because their next stop is out, uh, uh, in the kingdom of heaven. They're going to be slaves. That's what the book says. Yes. That's the good news. That's the good news. It says here. Let's read on. John 4. Verse 19. It says, The woman says unto him. No, no. Verse 21. It says, Yeah, how much I said unto her. Woman, believe me. The hour cometh. Hmm? When ye shall neither in this mountain, hmm, nor yet in Jerusalem, worship the Father. Because the Lord knows that he is, the woman is a Gentile. Right? The Lord is telling her, no, 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 listen, it doesn't matter where you are. Neither Jerusalem or wherever you are, no. It's just family. Let's repeat that again. Let's hear. Yeah, how much I said unto her? Woman, believe me. The hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain, hmm, nor yet in Jerusalem, worship the Father. Ye worship ye not what we know. What we worship for salvation is for the Jews. Hmm? That's what the Lord says. Ye know not where ye worship. Hmm? But salvation is only for the Jews. Family, let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Hmm? The book of Jeremiah chapter 3. Jeremiah 3. Jeremiah 3 verse... Ooh. Please bear with me. Maya Sorry family Got to bring Jeremiah to tell you that family the Lord wasn't wasn't lying when he says this this nation they seek salvation in vain Let's see if I can find it Here. Yes. All praise to our power, Yahweh Bashem. Sorry about that. Here, it says here. Jeremiah 3, verse 23. Listen to this, family. It says, truly, in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills, the hills, and the, from the mountains. The hills are small nations and big country, big nations. Yes. All these nations, that's what it means. Hills, mountains, it means uh, nations. It says here, truly in vain salvation hope for from the hills and from the mount for the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord our power is the salvation of Israel. Family. The evidence is overwhelming. Hey, the evidence is overwhelming. Family, let's go to the book of Acts. Let's go to the book of Acts quickly. The book of Acts. 29. No, Acts 5. Let's go to Acts 5. Acts 5 first. The book of, the book of Acts. 
chapter 5. Let's go. Let's read it from 29. Family here. Listen to this. Then Peter, the head apostle, and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey the Most High rather than men. Eh? He said, The Most High, our power. This is the Most High power of our fathers. Raise up the Howard Shai. Hmm? Listen to this. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Hmm? Him, him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. It's all about Israel. The Lord says, go out and preach eh, to the Lord's sheep of Israel. Tell them that I am coming in my glory eh, to redeem them and take them home. That is the good news. Salvation is only for Israel. Yes, the so-called Latinos, Blacks, Native Americans, the 12th tribe of Jacob. The promise went from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob. That's who salvation is for. The Lord is not the author of confusion. Hmm? The Lord hates. It says what? It says false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So you think about it. These nations, they haven't been punished yet. The law, statutes, and commandments were given to Israel. Family, a, a, a precept just popped in my spirit. Let's go to the book of Psalm 147. Hmm? Psalm 147. Um, here. Psalm 147. Listen carefully. It says, He sendeth out verse 18 Psalm 147 verse 18 says he sendeth out his word and melted them and he causes his wind to blow and the waters flow verse 19 here comes the point he showed his word unto Jacob and his statues and his judgment unto Israel we were the one the Lord gave the statutes and the commandments to. He says so here, verse 20 says, He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord have not judged these nations yet. No. When we go off, he says, No, you're going to Babylon. You're going to serve them. When we go off, no, the Grecians are going to, you're going to serve the Greeks. Hey, when we go off, no, the Romans are taking over Jerusalem. That's right. We've been in captivity all our life. Hmm? Because the book says what? Who a father loveth, he chastens. So the Lord punishes us right away. These nations have not been punished yet. So now, all of a sudden now, the Lord changes now. We serve you. We build your kingdom. We've done everything for you. Now the Lord says, I'm going to give you to the salvation. So everybody come in together. It makes no sense. The Lord is not the author of confusion. The Lord says what? He says what? A false balance is an abomination to him. You see, he has to be balanced. He punishes us. Now he's about to bless us. The nations are now going into captivity. That is balance. You can't say that the Lord is not righteous. That is balance. That is what is coming. So he says, go and preach. Yahweh gave a specific instruction to the lost tribe of Israel. The nations have nothing to do with this salvation. <coughs> they have nothing to do with this salvation. Yes. As for his judgment, they don't know it. The Lord hasn't punished them yet. But their punishment is coming. That's why it's, 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 it's incumbent upon us Family, we are about to be exalted. We are about to become the head and never the tail again. In our kingdom, it's going to be everlasting. We get a new body. 
as spiritual bodies. And we're going to see the king of kings. He's going to be in the midst of us on this planet. That's right. The planet, the earth is going to be rejuvenated. It's going to be fresh. The birds, the animals are going to be at peace with us. Hey? The animals, family, they're going to be at peace with the Israelites. Yes. Our children will play with this animal. Yes. Our children will lead the lion in the kingdom. That's right. That's what is coming for the elect. That's what is coming for the elect. That's salvation. Family, let's come. Let's, let's, let's bring another precept. Yes. Actually, you know what? Let's go to Acts chapter 2. Let's, let's, Acts chapter 2, verse 21. Acts chapter 2. Verse. Acts 2, 21. Here, family, listen to this. Listen to this. And it shall come to pass. Acts chapter 2, verse 21, it says, And it shall, come, it shall come to pass, that whosoever, listen to this carefully, family, listen to this carefully, listen to the whole scripture. And it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Listen to this. Verse 22, it says, Ye men of Israel. That's right. The Christian would take that top verse, and says anybody can be saved. No, family. No, 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 no. The new song now we are the new song that the Lord said in the book of Revelation, chapter 14. This is we are singing that new song right now. That's right. Salvation is only for Israel. If anybody is teaching contrary to what the book says, family, they are anti-Christ. Salvation is only for Israel. The Lord is not the author of confusion. But this is what the, the churches would like to do. Hey, everybody can come in. No! The book doesn't say it. This is the word of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. It says here, Ye men of Israel, hear these words. That is the point. That's why the Lord, Yahweh Shai, gave specific instruction. Go to the lost tribe of Israel. Preach. Tell them the kingdom is already prepared. I'm coming to redeem you. Yes. Repent. Call upon my name. Repent. The Lord is about to redeem my family. Oh, it's going to be a glorious day. Hmm? It's going to be a glorious day. That's why the book of Job said what? It's going to deliver it as in the sixth, in the sixth trumpet. Not you know, in the sixth trumpet. Let's get it. Let's get it, family. Let's, let's wrap it up. I don't want this thing to be long. But yes. Good news is coming. Good news is coming. For the elect. Family, we are about to go home. We are about to go home, man. We are about to go home. This is it says, uh, truly in vain. This nation seeks salvation. The book doesn't lie. Isaiah 46 verse 13. Let's go to Isaiah 46 verse 13 quickly. Isaiah 46. Oh, we thank the Lord for this truth, family. We thank the Lord for this truth. At one point, we were lost. And family, here we are. Isaiah, 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 Isaiah 46, verse 13. Yeah, so let, let's start from verse 12. It says here. It says, Harken unto me, ye stout-hearted, that are far from righteousness. The Lord is talking to us. We know our people. As stubborn as hell. Yes. Stiff neck, don't listen. But this is what the Lord is saying. He says, hearken unto me. Yes, stout hearted. That are far from righteousness. He says, I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off. And my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. That's the good news. That's the good news, family. Salvation is only for Israel. Yes. Yes, transatlantic slave trade. Hmm? Yes, you name you name you name the captivity family. We've been it. We built this kingdom. We were spread across the four the native family. All these plantations. Yes, we built it. They made the money. My family, the the nations that what you see in UK, the Dutch, 
Portugal. All this places, family, it was from slavery. All the big building that you see there and their institution, family, the back of slavery, they enjoyed. That's the blessing the Lord gave them. And that's why I said the Lord is balanced. The Lord blessed them. He gave them the dew of this heaven. This is their heaven. The nations, Esau, Edom. They have their kingdom. This is their kingdom. This is their heaven. But a new heaven is coming for the elect of Israel. It's going to be on this planet, family. But the earth is going to be rejuvenated. The Lord says what? The earth endures forever. But they would like to tell you that heaven is somewhere where you're going to be floating. And, and family, all sorts of just weird doctrine. No. Heaven is going to be on this planet. Yes. Our power, Yahweh. He dwells in the third dimension, the third dimension, heaven. That is his dwelling place. But he sent his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the angel, from the high Yahweh Shai, the apostles, family, our forefathers, we're going to see them on this planet. Yes, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, family, we all, they all going to be among us. The kingdom is going to be refreshed. That's what Yahweh Shai is bringing for us. That's the good news. That's the good news. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, ye. Repent, repent, repent. Do your best, family. You don't want to be left behind, man. Hey, after all what we've gone through, you're going to sell yourself short? No, family. We are not about that. No. You have to focus, man. You have to have your head, your, your mind on the price, the kingdom of heaven. That's why the book says what? Seek ye the kingdom of heaven and everything shall be added unto you. Family, at one point, we didn't understand that. Because this society tells you, you know what, to go to school, get this dad, get yourself in debt, and you know what, and you thinking this place is going to endure forever. No, 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 no. The Lord tells you, all this, all you see right now, that, that Apostle Peter said it. Eh? It's temporary. It's all about to pass away. Their institution, everything is about to be destroyed. Because the righteous kingdom is going to be established on this planet. Everything makes sense now. Family, <clears throat> the Lord will deliver us. All praises to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go to the book of Job. Uh, let's actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go to the book of Job. I think it's Job, uh, is it Job 5? Let's go to the book. He said the, the Lord will deliver his family. The book of Job. Is it Job 5? Let's see. Yes, yes, this was, family, when I, anytime I read this, it's like, man, it is, this is powerful. It says here, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yes, family, because the Lord, in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Eh? There's a precept to that in the book of Revelation. Eh? Because family, the moment the Lord, after, after the tribulation on that day, yes, the tribulation of that day, the trumpet is going to sound. And the Lord is going to give his angels charge to go and gather the elect. Family, what, why am I? Listen, let's get it. I think it's, uh, it says immediately after the tribulation. Let's go to. Matthew 24, I think. Matthew 24. Family, it's all about the good news for the elect. Matthew 24, 31. Yes, listen to this, family. It says here, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the tribulation of those days, you know what is going to be coming? It will be happening. There will be war, third world war in progress. The earth is in chaos. Farming, earthquakes, family, it's going to be so many things. Family, the day of the Lord is not going to be pretty. Yeah, it's going to be scary. But here, this is the good news for the elect. 
It says immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. Eh? Hmm? And the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. The, this heaven, the powers, the nation, their rulership is going to be shaken. This is their heaven. That's what the Lord is saying. They are stars, see? They are, they are, they are kings, they are they are, they, are, they are president, they are prime ministers. Yeah. Family. It says here, their powers, the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. It says here, and then shall appear the sign. That is the good news, family. You can't just read this and family, you have to picture it. You got a vision. Of it, eh? Everything is happening around you. You got to have a vision. It says then appear. Let me repeat that. It says here. And then shall appear the sign of the son of men in heaven. That is the house side. Family, can you imagine that? I'm getting a goosebump. Just, you're going to look up. And the king, the house side that we've been reading about for all these years, family, the moment we open our eyes, family. You're going to look up and you're going to see the king. Along with his angel. Family, let's read it. It says here. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of earth mourn. Yeah, we're going to be rejoicing. Oh, yes. We're going to be rejoicing, crying. Eh? It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be wild. It says here. And they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven. And power and great glory. The clouds are the UFOs. The one, the UFOs? Yes, 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 yes. Those are the angels. And these nations are losing their mind. That's how the Lord is coming. Yes. The book of Ezra chapter 13. Read that. It tells you. Family, the ship that the Lord is coming in, family. When Ezra saw it, he thought it was a mountain. And he said in the book of Ezra chapter 13, he says, when you look around, he was looking to see where it was caved, it, 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 it was craving from. He says, the Lord's ship, it looks like a mountain. That's how Yahweh Shai is coming. It's coming in his glory. He says here, and he shall send his angels. Listen to this. He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. Family, the Lord is only dealing with the remnant of elect of Israel. It's only a few number. His elect, the Lord is not saving everybody. Family is going to be a scary day. That's why we are here to warn you. That's why the Lord sent us here. We are the mouthpiece of the Lord. Family, we are telling you what is coming. The good news. All you have to do, repent. You are an Israelite, repent. Do your best. Keep the law to the best of your ability. Eh? Don't believe the nonsense that church teaches you. And they take the book of, is it Acts when the, uh, when the, what is it called? I think Peter. Eh? When the Lord showed all these filthy animals and the Lord told Peter to what? Go. Okay, go what? Rise up and uh, what is it called? Uh, what is it? And uh, kill or something to that effect. And don't call. Ah, it's leaving me. But anyhow, I'll do a lesson on that. Because the Christian justified because the Lord says kill and eat, you can eat anything. No, no, the Lord is not the author of confusion. I told you. He told you in the book of Leviticus what you can eat and what you cannot eat. And then it's going to turn around and tell you that, oh, it's okay to eat filthy animal. No, the Lord will not do that. But that's what they use. The churches use to justify their wickedness. That's why family, we are here to sing the new song. The new song is only going to be found in the 144,000. That's right. That's what the Lord said. And we hope that we are the hopefully elect. It says here. Let me repeat that again. It says, Matthew 24. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30. <coughs> Excuse me. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And there shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet and they shall gather together his elect. 
from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other the same power that sent us among these nations spread us across the four winds hmm? is sending his only begotten son Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai is going to come with the clouds the angels right? the chariot the so called UFO yes those are, yeah, they are not some green like the way these nations these wicked nations have to say it's some green uh, alien no those are the angels family you're going to see them on that day that's right that's the Lord coming with his angel and Michael the archangel is also coming he's all about war he's coming to deliver the children of Israel he says here and he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet and a great sound of trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other that is what is coming for the elect the Lord is coming don't get it twisted that's why you've seen all these uh, nations preparing for war the last war the third world war because the book says after this war what, they, what, what are they going to do they're going to turn all their sword into what a farming equipment that's right, farming equipment. What do you use farming equipment for? Farming. Because they have to build this kingdom. That's what is coming. That's right. That's what is coming. That's what is coming, family. Let's see what else. Uh, that's what is coming. So yes, Yahweh is coming in the clouds, family. Salvation, family. Salvation is only for the Israelites. Yes. Let's, let's go to the book of Daniel 7. Daniel 7, 27. The book of Daniel. Seven twenty-seven. It says here. <clears throat> and the kingdom. Listen to this. And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom. Under the whole heaven. Shall be given to the people of the saints. The saints are the Israelites. The saints are the Israel, the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all the millions shall serve and obey him. Let me go to Psalm 50 so you know who the saints are. Hey, it says Psalm 50. Family, this is the good news. Let's go to Psalm 55. I take Psalm 50, verse 5. It says, Here, gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. This is our sacrifice. That's right. The saints are the Israelites. This word can only be preached by an Israelite. That's right. The Lord is only dealing with Israel. That's it. Done. All our apostles were what? Were Israelites. All the prophets in the book were Israelites. Yes. The Lord is not the author of confusion. That's right. The Lord is not the author of confusion. But these nations have made it a universal thing. No, 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 no. The Lord separates the nation. He says he gives us statutes and commandments. Actually, since it pop in my spirit, let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter. Is it four? All praise to our power, Yahweh by Tem Yahushai. Listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgment. Even as the Lord, this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. He said, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgment. Even as the Lord, my power, commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Hmm? Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. We are supposed to be separate. So when we go to these nations, this law is supposed to make us renew, make us, give us understanding. We're not supposed to do what they are doing. This is what the Lord did for us. This here. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. We shall hear, listen to this. We shall hear all these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. If you kept the commandments. Verse 7, it says here, For what nation is there so great, who have the Most High so nigh unto them, 
as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgment so righteous as all this law which I said before you this day. This is how you were supposed to be. But we know what happened. We didn't keep the law, the statute. We, didn't, we couldn't keep anything. That's why Yahweh Shai had to send. But it's all part of the movie. It's how the Lord wrote the movie. Because he knew we were going to go off and Yahweh Shai had to be sent to redeem, to redeem us back. That's right. That's why he's coming to save those that were under the law, the Israelite family. This is simple. That's why but the church likes to com confuse everybody. Because family, it is money. It is money. The Lord gave us this thing freely. He says, go, teach my people. We don't ask for no money. No. Give it to them. Because family, we are building our treasures in heaven. Because the heaven is coming, the kingdom of heaven is going to be on this planet here. We're going to go into rulership. That's what is coming. Because my men are going to be kings and priests in the kingdom. Because we have to teach these nations about our laws and statutes. The same way they taught us in their universities and stuff. Family, we are going to teach them our laws and statutes. It's that simple. It's that simple. Family, let's, 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 uh, let's, let's wrap, wrap this up. Um... Let's go to the book of, uh, let's read a bit of uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 65. Let's finish off with Isaiah 65. Yes, family, the kingdom is going to be refreshed. It's coming. It's fire is coming. And this nation can do nothing about it. Can do nothing about it. Because at the end of the day, the Lord is controlling everybody. Everybody's in their lot. If you are murder, you are at your lot. Eh? You are rapist, you are at your lot. You teacher, you are you are at everybody's in their lot. That's right. There's nothing you can do about it. You know? It says the it says the elect were chose before the foundation of the earth for salvation. So family, if you get this and it register in your spirit, count yourself blessed. Count yourself blessed. Don't take it lightly. The sacrifices that the king did for us, family, it wasn't light. Yeah, can you imagine going on the cross, being nailed to the cross? Eh? Even before before he went on the cross, family, there was a scripture in that it was in John. Was it in John? He says, family. He went to pray and family. He said, if you see, if you see, if you see how our king, Yahweh Shad, family. Yeah, he was in a lot of stress. Family he says, if, if he's, the sweat that was coming off his body was like a drop of blood. I mean, he kept his mouth shut, went on the cross, eh? got nailed to the cross, just so that we can have peace, salvation, liberty, mercy, family. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. Count yourself blessed. Every moment that you are alive, you open your mouth and give thanks to all power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai for mercy. Because at one point, family, we have no clue who we were. Calling ourselves all these names, black, black. Uh, black, African American, Negro, Latinos, all these names that we we're calling ourselves. Yes, but now he opened our eyes. He says, No, 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 no. You guys are the apple of my eyes. Yes. Yes, you are about to inherit this this nation. Yes. It is coming. It is coming. It's coming. You have to have the faith to believe. That's why it says what? The just shall live by faith. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 50, uh, 65. And let's wrap this up. Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65, verse... Oh, family, listen to this. Let's finish with this. You see, Isaiah 65, verse 17. It says, For behold, I create a new heaven. Listen to this. It says, Behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered. Yes. This, this earth, this, this, this wicked place, family, eh, shall not be remembered. The Lord is saying that. It says here, eh, nor come into mind. You hear that? It says, let's, let's go. I'm going to read the entire verse, family. I'm not going to stop. It says, For behold, Isaiah 65, verse 17 says, For behold, I create a new heaven. And a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. 
you hear that? And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. No more sadness, no more tears, no more pain, no more death. That is what is coming. It said, there shall be no more dance an infant of days, nor an old man that have not fulfilled his days. We're going to live forever, family. For the child shall die in hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. It said, then they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people. Yes, sir. It says, and mine elect, listen to this. Like again, I said, the Lord is not going to save all of his people this time. But those who don't make it on this, 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 this go around, they're going to be born back into the kingdom. Yes, in the kingdom, we're going to have children in the kingdom. Yes, don't believe the nonsense that the church is telling you. No, we, yes, we're going to have children in the kingdom. But the Lord said it. Those who don't make it, they're going to be born as newborn babies, but they're going to be perfect. That's right. They're going to be, they're going to die on this end, but they will come. Remember, the spirit lives forever. That's right. The spirit lives forever. The Lord is going to put that spirit in somebody. That's right. That's right. It's going to come out along your, your family lineage. Family, the Lord is, uh, oh man, I'm, I'm telling you, the mystery, the Lord is going to reveal so many things to us, family. That's what is coming for the elect. Let's continue. It says here. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. You hear that? And it shall come to pass that before they call. Listen to this. It says before they call. Hmm? I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. That's the spiritual power. As they are yet thinking, I will hear. Can you imagine the power? Family, <laughs> the kingdom of it says, eyes have not seen or ears have not heard what the Lord is preparing for his elect. That is the good news, family. It says here. Yeah. It says, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. It says, the wolf, the wolf, family, you know, you've seen the wolf. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. And the lion shall eat straw like the bullock. And thus shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, says the Lord. Heaven, family, our heaven on this planet, eh? Our animals are going to be at peace with us. Eh? Our children will be able to play with this wild animal and they won't touch them. That is the power that we are about to receive from the almighty power, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem. So family, with that, I will say, Shalom. Yes, the Lord says specifically, specific instruction. Go and preach to the lost Tribe. Actually, no, let's get it. Matthew. You must well finish with that. Matthew 10. Verse 5. Again. These 12, Yahweh Shai, our king, sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. The Gentiles in this in, in this uh in this precept is referring to the rest of the nation. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Don't go there. But here, this is what I want you to do. This is what the king is saying to his son. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Hmm? And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's it. That's simple. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Take heed, call upon your power, and repent. You don't want to be left behind. 
what is coming for the elect, this world will not be able to comprehend it. And you don't want to be left behind. Shalom.